Now let's have a little more fun by combining operators and assignment. Let's create a variable called total payroll and set it equal to zero. Let's also create some other variables to hold the salaries of three hypothetical players on, say, an athletics team. One way we could calculate the total payroll with salaries is to do this, which isn't too bad. It all fits on one line, but in certain cases we may only want to add one salary at a time. And if we were to do this, then our calculations would change to, say, something like this. And in this case, we add one salary at a time to the existing value of the total payroll. So this isn't too bad if we want to add them one at a time, but we can do better than this by combining assignment and the plus operator all at the same time. And we can do this by using the operator we want, in this case the addition operator, followed by an equals sign. And while this may be confusing at first, let's look at how the operator reads from left to right. First, we want to add to our existing value, and then we want to assign. And we can also do this with other operators like subtraction, multiplication, division, and the modulus operator. So I'll go ahead and fix this up. And now we get the same value by combining the addition and assignment for this addition assignment operator. If you want to see this with a different operator, we can change all these signs to subtraction signs. And now our total payroll is negative 2,500,000. And this would be more appropriate if we wanted to show the deficit after paying our players as opposed to the total payroll that we saw earlier.